morning everyone I haven't done this in a while well in my own car um, I have to go run a friend and um, normally I don't take him to later in the day but look at that sky we are only supposed to get not nothing maybe five percent chance of quote unquote rain our highs today are 33 um, that, I don't know if you can see that but the sky has got um, some of the clouds I'm not gonna mess with moving my phone over to where some of the clouds are but they have got pinks blues greens and of course you can see the the gray and stuff in front of us over to my left hopefully up here in a little bit you're gonna see um, there's some funky like pinkish color clouds um, some of that greenish color you can see the colors changing in front of you now um, yeah that is that is um, that's a storm that is a big storm coming um, if, I don't know if it's going to be rain if it's going to be snow we're right there where it could be anything so I called my friend I said get your happy little butt dressed I'm on my way because this girl wants to be home before the storm hits um, normally I, I don't go to take him shopping until like 11 12 o'clock but it is just about 8 o'clock in the morning and yeah that's that's uh that's some wicked strange looking storm clouds for January um, Usually that's a sign of we're going to get some crappy weather, so which wasn't supposed to happen till tomorrow. Um, you know, but this is, you know, I thought I'd show you how the sky is just the colors, the blues, the the greenish color up in that sky. It is just really, really kind of almost amazing. I, I really want to, you can see the blues and the greens in the cloud. I really want to get into town and get myself back home. This is a, um, Laura's worried about weather because I, I don't worry about the driving. I never used to worry about it. Um, it's that Missouri doesn't take care of the roads like I'm used to in New York. Um, upstate New York, they always used to use uh, liquid um, salt, and they're always out maintaining the roads. Um, they do a very good job at it. Um, here, <laughs> they don't really touch the roads, hardly at all. Um, and there's no sand and no no cinders, no salt, hardly ever put on these roads. So, and there's sometimes where I, I jokingly say, would you like me to get out and show you how to use that plow correctly? You know, because that some of these people don't know how to plow and get the snow away from the road. Kid you not, like I was saying before, I had to stop because I pulled up to that corner and then we had someone, oh, look at the grackles, guys. Look at the grackles. I love driving through them. Um, there is a difference between a grackle, a starling, and a crow. And I won't go into that because there's people that would like to argue with me. Um, I got into a discussion on somebody's page about one one day. But that's okay. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying about um, driving in it. Being from upstate New York. I, I love driving in the snow. I grew up when there was weather. My parents would take us for rides when there was a snowstorm. But those cars were made to go where the weather was. We had, you know, studded tires, chains if we needed them. You know, it just was what it was. You know, nowadays, what's a studded tire? You know, kids these days don't know that.
it's a light car. It just does not have the traction. Um, I will say safety wise, this car is a very safe car if you are in an accident. It is a safe car to be in. But, um, I don't want to be in an accident, you know. The people out here are not respectful of bad roads. They just think they're invincible and they drive however they want to drive on them. Um, it just is what it is. So, when weather hits, this chick is not on the road. Sorry. After my strokes, I just don't want to drive. I don't want to drive on them. I, I have panic attacks around traffic. So this chick don't do cities. I don't know if you can see that way out in the distance, but on top of those hills, it is storming, guys. So, yeah. It is definitely storming in the distance. You can see it on the top of those hills. So, we're going to make this hopefully a quick trip to town take him to do his shopping and what have you and then we're going to come back and uh, I'm going to go home um, I usually like to sit and visit with him and watch watch TV you know whenever I get a chance to watch TV I like to sit down and watch TV I call it the old people show uh, what is it the price is right um, I don't get to see that very often so you know when I get a chance I like to watch it but I don't think today is going to be one of those days to get that done. Today is going to be, I'm taking you shopping and I'm going back home just because, really, um, I think I need to make sure I'm home before we get any of that because, like I said, our highest temperature today is 33 and that will be at like 1 o'clock. And I think we're going to get our weather before 1 o'clock. So, I was hoping that we would see some deer or something on our travels. I haven't seen any yet. So, anyways, I'm going to shut up for a minute and let you enjoy the, the little ride here. It is a little bit lighter here, but you can, I mean, I can't turn you because we have a vehicle coming. Anyways, now that we're going west, off to the south of us, <laughs> is all the dark clouds. Before they were behind us, now they're off to the south of us. And um, out right out here, in those trees to your, on the left side of the screen, is a couple of old, old um, abandoned mobile homes. I keep saying I want to go out there and film them, but can nobody go with me? Everybody's chicken. So, one of these days, I guess I'll just have to do it alone. And off to your right, you will see, and I'll have to slow down, because sometimes the goats and sheep get out. And the other day when I was up here, like a week ago or so, um, probably been longer than that, two mommy sheep were out with their little babies. It was so cute. I see she got a shipment of hay in. But they're cute. She has all kinds of animals, llamas, you name it. it is so, or maybe actually I think they're alpacas, not llamas. But so cute. So I'm going to pause you. about that guys I tried to take a picture and it wouldn't let me take a picture all three of them they're right there guys there they go they're gonna come back across the road how beautiful there they go oh my gosh there was a fourth one there's usually only three now I'm gonna have to be careful because there might be another one Let's see if they're standing right there. Mm 
I don't see them. They went right on over, guys. How beautiful. All right. Thanks, guys. Hi everybody. I'm sitting outside my apartment. Crazy people across the way have their windows open. And I don't know. A lot of people walking around. I want to show you what we have on the ground. So I woke up this morning to some snow. Most of it is um well, some of it's melted off here and there, but not much of it, and the sky is still kind of black and cloudy. Um, I put some um, shelled nuts out. They aren't, um, they don't have salt or nothing on them. They're just plain nuts. Um, you know, they cut a bunch of the trees down and I'm being watched by neighbors. So, um, I don't normally sit outside. Uh, and I usually don't, um, have my windows open or curtains open for the same reason. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to show you what it looks like around me because I have my privacy here. It's kinda look forward to seeing some squirrels, but I don't see any nearby. So hopefully yes, we got some snow. Uh, like you seen in my video from yesterday with the deer out and everything and the way the clouds look that I knew we were going to get snow. So anyways. So. We didn't get much. Maybe an inch. An inch and a half. But. There's our little snow. Yes, I still have my Halloween lights out. But it don't work. <laughs> Alright guys. I'll talk to you guys later. So this is like not quite 24 hours away. This is the uh, tomato kit. And this is the tomato rocket. And then... Um, I watered it a bunch this morning and it is really wet. So day number, well, it's been 24 hours. So, all right, we'll see what happens.